Helmsman Packer, take us into that asteroid gas cluster. Into the cluster? That's suicide, sir. It is our only chance. I always wanted to do an episode set in space. For the first time in my life, I'd written interior spaceship, and there it is. I brought my kids along, so they believe Daddy has a spaceship. I think it's really funny. Over there, a naked lady. And then in the same scene, extremely dark. Killing in cold blood is against space fleet code. <sighs> Wish I could help. We ready to fly? Uh -huh. In terms of echoes of older sort of classic shows, that's all done with affection. Well, you're supposed to say something like engage or increase thrust. Just go. What if there was a service that was a bit like Spotify for dates? How will I know who he is? It could generate a playlist of relationships. It's my first time on the, you know, with the, the system. Me too. It would tell you who you were going to be going out with next and for how long. 12 hours. A bit, um, yeah. a bit short. It is a bit short, isn't it? The system is learning from your reaction to being paired with all these different types of people. Hi. Hi. I'm Frank. Mm. Once it figures it's learnt enough about you, it will then pair you up with the ultimate soulmate. Do you have faith? Because it does deliver. It did for us. <laughs> in a way, that's a world in which all your romantic worries are kind of taken care of. Tikka Masala. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Talking makes it worse. It's like a codified version of real life. I just want to say... Don't. Archangel is a story about a mother who is concerned for her daughter's well-being. Sarah is three and she's... Sarah! When our first child was born... Sarah! I was terrified all the time that he'd just stop working. And the film is directed by Jodie Foster. Basically, it's a story of a mother who wants everything for that child, and um, she learns of a new technology. That's it? And she feels like this is the perfect way to keep her child safe and for her child to, to have the most opportunity in life as possible. Mommy. This is like Black Hawk helicopter parenting. I remember when we used to open up the door and just let the kids be. <laughs> We often do stories where a good instinct is being possibly indulged or exacerbated by some kind of gizmo. What are you doing? And that's very much what Archangel is. Sarah? Sarah! Metalhead is a bottled nightmare. Ah! It's a primal fight for survival. It's not about a sort of action hero. She's a normal human being. I think it's got a sort of a slight horror element to it. It's very tense. Maxine has a relatability. Hello. And a likability to her. Anyone? Come in. But also, there's a toughness there as well. <gasps> I'm a bit achy and a bit bruised at the moment. <laughs> I wanted to do something that was just visceral and unrelenting from the very start. In Crocodile, we've got a story about a woman who has a terrible secret. And this is happening in a world in which you can effectively probe somebody's impressions or recollections. Hold those things in your mind and picture what you saw. It is a visually powerful piece. Mia, the main character, feels very exposed. And so we shot in Iceland to accentuate that feeling of her being trapped in a remote, vast landscape. So it's a taut thriller. It's a cat and mouse game in which neither the cat nor mouse are aware of each other's existence. I'm here on behalf of Realm Insurance. Just need to log your recollections. Rollo Haynes, owner, proprietor. Rollo Haynes basically runs a, what he calls the Black Museum. You sure you want to do this? This place ain't for the faint-hearted. Black Museum is a bit of a funhouse episode. It's three short Black Mirror stories. Show on the road. 
and it's full of exhibits which relate to high-tech crimes. If it did something bad, chances are it's in here. It is a collection of three stories within one film. It's a kind of house of horrors with a strange showman introducing the short stories. And then it happened. <laughs> this is one of the few stories, I think, that does acknowledge all the other stories and the other worlds that have been created. The Black Museum, as you can see. That was kind of a bit of a trip down memory lane, that set. There's like, I think in every single cabinet there, there's something from a previous story. A lot of these are people who've worked on the show. We haven't had them killed. They did this voluntarily. Hey, Vali here. So, keeping on the Netflix theme, did you know that Reed Hastings started Netflix after forcibly paying $40 in fines for returning Apollo 13 late? Here is another one. The first Netflix original series was a Norwegian-American show called Lilyhammer. It premiered in Norway with a record audience of 998,000 viewers, one-fifth of Norway's total population. Now, ever wondered about the star ratings on Netflix movies and shows? Well, they are not the actual rating of the film, but instead are how much Netflix thinks you'll enjoy them based on your previous viewing history. So, be careful what you watch. To watch more cool videos the moment they are online, click on the subscribe button now, and don't forget to also click on the notification bell as well. See you next time.